Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you're going to learn how you can use thin client technology for visualization to achieve a smart machine or build a smart factory. We're coming at you live from Rockwell Automation on the Move in Modesto, California, and I'm joined by Doug Coulter with Rockwell's Thin Manager Group today. Cheers, Doug. Cheers, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Doug, before we got into this video, we were talking about how you can use Thin Manager for content delivery and device management. Right. Can you define those two terms for our audience? Absolutely, absolutely. We'll start with device management. So, Thin Manager offers the ability to manage devices like these. This is an industrial grade zero client, mm -hmm. the first of you 5200. We can manage thin clients, mobile devices like smartphones, tablets, mm -hmm. or even PCs, and you can do that all centrally in Thin Manager. We can also do content delivery, right? So, what we're talking about are different types of content being able to be brought to a single device mm. like this one here. So we're showing okay. an instance of Factory Talk for USE. Mm -hmm. We also mm -hmm. have uh, an instance of Microsoft Excel. We have a VNC session to a Panel View Plus that's over to your side. And then we also have an IP camera up here, and we're pulling this content all together and aggregating it at one zero client, and it can all be managed centrally. Ooh. Pretty cool. Now, I've got a question. So, security is a big topic for a lot of the folks in the audience. How can you manage who can and who can't access certain pieces of content? Sure, sure. So, there's actually three ways that we deliver content in Thin Manager. Okay. First, you can assign it to the device, like we've done here. So, it's the default content when the terminal boots up. But we can also deliver content by user and by location. So, we'll, we'll go to look by user, like you just mentioned. Okay. So I've got a badge here. Um, I've got just a standard uh, RF Ideas badge, okay. and you'll see I've got an RF Ideas badge reader over here on the side, mm -hmm. and it's connected to this mm -hmm. zero client. So I'm going to go ahead and badge in. Awesome. And this user is basically a maintenance user in our system. Yeah. So, so this maintenance user, when they log in, they're automatically going to get an instance of Logix, Studio 5000, cool. so that they can troubleshoot the, uh, the controller of interest at that point. So definitely you can deliver content by user. And when I'm done, I simply badge out, and we're back to the default content of the device. Sounds like a nice time saver as well, where it jumps straight to, straight to that screen. Yep. Now, I think the other question I've got is, how does this play in with mobility? People are, you know, this looks like something that could be looked at on something like an iPad or sure. tablet, per se. Absolutely. So, so we can extend this to a mobile device, and what's great about this is we can manage this device just like we manage a, a zero client. So we create a profile for it in Thin Manager. But now I'm going to go ahead and log in, just like I logged into the device behind us. I'm going to use that same maintenance user. And what's happened here is that Logix Designer is being delivered to the tablet just like it was before. Mm -hmm. But now let's say we want to incorporate location into the delivery equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a QR code that we've placed over here by our packaging motor. Mm -hmm. So I hit scan ID, it opens up a little camera window. Okay. And it allows Ooh. me the chance to scan that QR code and I get a different set of yeah, documents let's, let's here. Take a look at that. Yeah. So what I right. what I see here is a little motor schematic. Uh, it's kind of tough to see there, but I also have an instance of Factory Talk View SE. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're seeing back there. That's exactly what we're seeing back there. So I can also, let me go ahead and leave that location. Uh huh. And I'm going to scan this QR code, and this will be the last one we do. All right. Once I scan this back one. back here. Oh, that one didn't quite get me there. Sorry. Oh, let's try it again. We're going to do it one more time. There we go. Nailed it. So scanning Nailed that QR it. code basically <laughs> transferred that session away from that tethered client, and I now have it on my mobile device. And we're actually in a geofence, so that means I can only use this on uh, my tablet while I'm within range of this Bluetooth beacon that's here. So it basically has a range of about 30 feet the way we've set it up. Awesome. Well, hey, Doug, thank you for the overview. If I remember right, the, uh, the website to go to if you want more information is thinmanager.com. Also, if you want to just explore this further, I'd highly recommend reaching out to your Rockwell Automation account manager. For the folks out there viewing today, thanks so much for sticking with us. We know we're at a trade show right now. We know we got the loudspeakers coming up. That's just part of the program. But Doug, thank you so much for being on the show. No problem. Thanks, Chris. And no problem. For those of you out there, stay innovative, stay thirsty, and we'll see you again real soon here on Manufacturing Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers.